I polished up the brass so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Pirates! Pirates! Pirates? What a nuisance. From what direction? From the north. From the south. Coming about! Now where? Push me for you. From the east. From the west. Will you two make up your minds? Where are they coming from? From everywhere! All hands on deck! Tommy Stubbins! Dab Dab! Chi Chi! Tutu! Man the poop deck! What's a poop deck? How should I know, Dab Dab? I'm a doctor, not a sailor. Look for it. We're surrounded! We're surrounded! I love to talk to the animals. It's incredible chatting with a chimp in chimpanzee. To sit in natto with a tiger, chatter with a cheetah, that's a neat achievement, you'll agree. If I could talk to the animals, learn their languages, I would be the greatest man on earth. If I could only find a teacher, I would reach each creepy creature, then think what scurvy's empire would be worth. I can converse in polar bear and python. Yeah, he can curse in fluent kangaroo. If people ask me, can you speak rhinoceros? I say, of course, us. And do. If I controlled our four-legged friends and all the universe, what a wicked place the world would be. <laughs> but until then, only Doolittle talks with the animals. He grunts and he squeaks and he squawks with those animals. And they can talk to me. I heard you, I heard you. Here, Tommy, take the wheel. Aye, aye, sir. Mm, what a dan, dan, dandy whistle. Oh, thank you. Those pirates, I do believe they intend to do us harm. Would you be so kind as to discourage them? Why, sure, Doc. Hope they don't mind me getting <clears throat> a little nosy. And away we go. of a cut-up. May 21st, for the good ship Flounder. It's been a stormy day indeed, but by now, most of us have our sea legs. A very helpful thing on a night such as this. Dab-Dab, is dinner ready? Coming right up, Doctor! Oh, boy! <laughs> Chichi, please. We shall wait till everyone is served. All right, begin. You may serve dessert, Dab Dab. or Dopey will come to order. Answer up as your name is called. Cyclops. You're uh, here, Chief. Zit zat. We're oui, on Chief. No go and Nico. I'm a here, sir. Oh, pleasant. Okay. Now, here is the way I see it. Pragmatically speaking, we are all aware that Doolittle can converse with the animals, right? Right. Ask right. uh, me, what does converse mean? Speak. 
I just did. I said, what does converse mean? Talk, Cyclops, talk. I am talking. And you will stop talking. Now, as I was saying, that Dr. Doolittle speaks to the animals, and we can't, right? Right? Who wants to speak to animals? We want to! Don't you bubble brains understand? If we can gain control of the animals, we can rule the world. Now hear this. This is your speaker speaking. A whale is approaching Dr. Doolittle's boat. A whale? All right, everybody, battle stations. Click. Energize the electronic circuit, thus radiating the sonic blips and blops so as to create a video image on the Orthicon Imagizer. Now what does he mean? He means turn on the radar, dummy. You see that? I'll wager he's about to converse with that whale. Observe. Now. If we had all the whales on our side, the whole ocean and all the ships at sea would be at our mercy. Magnifique! Only the rips, Dave. Very smart, Bella. Now, you see why we have to capture Dr. Doolittle? Yeah, so we could converse with the animals, too. Right. Hey, he comprehends. Cyclops, turn off the radar. Nico, up scope. Down scope! You are real winners. With foes like you, Doolittle must be downright delighted. Okay, we gotta find out what Doolittle and that whale are up to. Send out the sneaky snorkel. 